The state government insists its policy to keep pay rises to a minimum is intact, despite losing a test case in the Industrial Relations Commission. The commission found the policy was applied unfairly and ordered the government to pay health workers more. The Health Services Union has been the only one to hold firm and reject the government's wages policy, which caps pay rises at the rate of inflation. It lodged a test case with the Industrial Relations Commission where it's had a win. It does set a precedent and that precedent is that government wages policy um, uh, isn't set in concrete. The government had offered health professionals the standard pay rise accepted by teachers and police, but the HSU wanted more in line with what nurses and doctors got months before. It's the first time by law the Commission has had to consider the government's wages policy. It agreed the disparity wasn't fair and ordered health workers be paid more. The government says the health department will have to absorb the additional cost. I wouldn't be crowing about it as being a great victory for, uh, for the HSU. Uh, it is in fact going to hurt the Western Australian public which has to pay for this. Unions say the decision substantially weakens the government's position. After a period of industrial peace, they say workers will now be more likely to put up a fight. I think it will fundamentally change the way that uh, some of the unions operate and approach the next uh, round of wage negotiations. Look, I think the government should really take a step back and think about their approach seriously. Clearly they've got it wrong. The minister says the health department may have to cut services and let go of staff as a result of the decision. But he says the wages policy is here to stay whether unions like it or not. Rebecca Carmody, ABC News.